Hey guys, welcome back to Maison Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're going to be exploring the new Nespresso Arafio capsule. But before we get into the video, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Show your girl some love. You guys can always find me over on Instagram. It's such a party, and if you want to be a part of our coffee content, you can find me right here. Let's talk this new espresso capsule. So guys, as I mentioned a few videos back, Nespresso would be launching new capsules in September and they did not disappoint, they did. They've launched three new uh, Espresso capsules and one Lungo capsule. However, today we're gonna be talking about Orafio. So Orafio, it is a single espresso shot. Uh, let's hear what Nespresso has to say about it. Uh, it's single, so it's 1.35 ounce. It's an intensity of six, so pretty mid-range. We like that about it. And then uh, Nespresso says, why we love it? Orafio glows in your cup with its warm cereal and roasted notes. A blend of Latin American coffee with a touch of Ugandan Robusta. This coffee has a light body, low bitterness, and graces your palate with just a hint of acidity. It's one's pure gold. Wow. So hopefully I will like this one. You guys know around here I really like cereal notes. So I love the Bianco Leggeros, the Malazios, all the ones that have cereal notes. And it's really nice to add this one to the collection. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. Oh, okay. So wow, that's really pretty. It's a little golden thing, kind of bronzy, beautiful color. Yes, yeah, so I'll just go ahead and insert a clip for you guys so you can see what it looks like, but it looks like a traditional, you know, Virtuo capsule, especially same size of a single espresso shot. A little bit more about the capsule, Nespresso says that it is caramel and roasted. It has cereal, licorice, and spicy notes, and uh, yeah, that seems pretty interesting to have cereal and spicy together. I'm really interested to see how those two notes will come together um, to form this pot. So I'm kind of just excited to go ahead and do this. We're just going to taste test it and after we're going to actually make a recipe. So we're going to make an iced latte because honestly I'm so hot. I'm in this weather and it's like, I don't know, probably 80 degrees outside. So let's get going. We're going to do a taste test and then we're making a latte. So I've already got my double shot ready for my uh, latte, but before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and taste it. If anybody's wondering, because I always get comments, um, this little espresso um, holder that I use to brew my espresso into, you can find it in my Amazon store, and my Amazon store is linked down below in the description. So yes, this pod seems to have quite a bit of crema, which is really nice. Um, we're gonna push that aside and we're gonna get into the espresso. I'm just gonna take a little taste and see what I think. Also, you definitely smell the cereal caramel, which is really nice. I like it. All right, let's give this a go. Ooh, I like that. It has a good kick to it. It's not, um, like it doesn't have a sour taste to it at all. A little bit of bite, which is nice for lattes. But still pretty mild. So interested to see how this will pair back to milk. Let's go ahead and make a surprise latte. So guys, for today, I've decided to use six ounces of milk. So I'm first using my four ounce measuring cup. I like to use 2% for my lattes. So I'm going to use my favorite 2% milk, A2. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pour this on into my arrochino. If I haven't said it by now, we're making a pumpkin pie latte. I'm then gonna use my two ounce measuring cup because I do like to have six ounce of milk for my iced lattes. Next up, pumpkin pie by Tarani. This is my favorite pumpkin pie syrup option. I'm gonna use two tablespoons so I get an extra kick of that pumpkin pie goodness. Next, we're gonna take arrochino, we're gonna place it on its holster, and we're gonna foam the milk and syrup on cold. I like to foam it on cold just because, um, well not on cold, but I like to foam them together because they evenly distribute really nicely when you put both into the arrochino. There goes my cold foamed milk. <laughs> we're gonna have to leave enough for our espresso shots. Here we go, a double shot of espresso. That looks really good. Yep, the end result, a pumpkin pie latte. Alrighty, so I've got my pumpkin pie latte. I almost forgot that I do wanna add this Tarani pumpkin pie uh, sauce to it. So we're gonna do just a drizzle. And then we're gonna test it on out. Let's see how it tastes. New Nespresso capsule, here we come. Ugh, I'm always spilling, let's give it a little mix. Smells really nice. Uh, let's go. Oh, that's good. It's really nice. You can definitely taste the caramel notes of the pot. I really like this. I'm getting pumpkin pie, I'm getting some caramel, but what I like about this pot is that it packs a little bit of a punch. And so even though it's an intensity of six, it's still rich in flavor that it cuts through all the sweetness of the pumpkin pie sauce and syrup. So overall, I am a very happy camper. I'm super excited about fall. I'm super excited about this new pod. Guys, drop it in the comments down below. Let me know. Have you purchased this capsule yet? And if you have, how are you making it? So good. So good. I'll put the recipe down below for you guys so that you can try it out. But guys, as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me on Maison Molly. If you found added value in this video, go ahead, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can know when I upload more videos like this one. Thank you for stopping by me, Zao Molly, and I'll see you guys next time.